So we were given a set of numbers, 1, 5, 11, 5, and we were being asked that we had to split this set into two subsets so that we add their elements, their sum should be equal. So the operation is we have to make a sum and condition is that we their sum should be equal. So uh, when we have when we were given some set and to pick any element from that set by some condition, we go with backtracking. So from the provided set, we were going to see that we have we have to make two subset. So either we have to add this element into this subset or I have to add this element to this subset. There is two conditions, like uh, either we have to add it, like like if we talk about one, so either we have to uh, add it in subset one, or we have to add this in subset two. So we have the, for each element, we have the condition that to pick it or not to pick it. So to do or not to do. We have to add it or not to add it. So we will go with this tree and see how it looks like. So this is a complete straight space tree for the provided set. Straight space tree says that if we are going to pick any one element out of our set, it is a space, you can say. So what could be its possible state? Possible state in our case that either we have to add it or we don't have to add it. So if we will say for this particle number one, do you want to add it in our solution? So the answer will be one. And uh, if we will add in our solution, so would we have the next choice, five. Either we have to add in our solution or no. If we will add, we will get the answer six. If we don't add, answer will remain one. If we will add uh, for the next step, next level, we are saying we have 11 in the next element in our set. If we will add it, we will get 17. If we don't add it, we get down to 6. If we have the next element is 5, if we will add it, we get down to 22. If we don't add it, we get down to 17. Uh, there is one more interesting thing in this question. You can see that these are provided positive integers, and if we will add all of them, their answer will be um, if I add all of them, their answer is 22. We have to partition into two subset. We divide them. We get the answer 11. We have to find the answer 11 state space tree. So if you will follow this path, it's very interesting. You will see that if you will follow this path, we add it, we skip here 11 and we go down. So you, you will find found that we are going to add these numbers. So here we're going to get 11. One is added, five is conceded. 11 is skipped here, so we are going to skip and we are going to add 5, so we are going to get 11. On the second flow, if you will see, um, let's go to the second flow, we were going to skip here, 1, here we are going to skip 5, here we are going to include our 11, and here we are going to skip 5. Interesting thing you can see, that in this flow, no element from 1, 5, and 5 is being added. Only 11 is conceded. And we are going to get our answer. So these are the equal thing. One more interesting thing we'll find in straight space tree. It is very interesting. If you will add all of these numbers, what is the exact number we are going to get? It's 22. If you will go uh, reverse order from here, and in this way, from right to left, on this tree and left to right in this tree or you go from left to right on this subtree and right to left from this subtree you add these numbers their answer will be 22 so you will see 21 equals uh, 21 plus 1 is 22 6 plus 16 22 12 plus 10 22 17 plus 5 is 22 and so on backtracking helps us on uh, on getting us back to the right track. How he helps us, it looks into the condition. If we will think, we, we have, uh, if we will find that the answer should be 11. So if our sum is getting greater than 11, we have to, we have to get back. We should not waste our time going in that path. So see here, if we'll go, we, we consider one, and then we consider 5 also, we, be, we get the answer 6. Next, if we will add 11, by considering 11, we get the answer 17. 17 is not correct because it is exceeding. 17 is greater than our 
expected answer 11. What is expected answer? Because we are thinking we have to split it into subset and subset sum divided by two is 11. So 17 is greater than 11, we should not go in there. So back to track. So we will go back to the track, then we will say skip 11 here, and then we can add five further. We get the answer 11, that's fine. So this way back track helps us. The path which is not fulfilling the condition, we, we can skip them and we can go back. All right. So this question we can either solve using backtrack with uh, BFS, or we can also solve this question using 01 knapsack problem. Uh, this is not we are going to do in this video, hopefully in the next video. So we will on only concentrate that using the backtrack how we can solve this question. So let's see. First, what we will find, what is the total sum of the numbers? We say, all total okay so we were going to add all the numbers nums fold left we start from zero and we add all the elements second we think that okay if we get the sum of all numbers is it going to be partitioned into two numbers so let's suppose if it is going to total could be equally partitioned into two numbers we are going to say if we could not partition into two number we have to return false because we are we are we we are expecting to return two subset otherwise we will go with our dfs with our state space tree to find every every each iteration we keep on asking should we add this number or should we exclude this number whatever number we will pick we will exclude it from our total sum so we can say can partition and we were let's see what we can provide it so we go up and we make a function def can partition and we were think, thinking that uh, whichever element is being given the element index and uh, the remaining sum remaining sum because whichever number we will consider we will exclude it from our sum and then if it will become zero we will say yeah this is the path we have found okay because uh, and this function is also going to return boolean all right so we can pass him zero start and pick the first element and start using your calculation for the total all right this is we have to go with the else not only with if because that will be skipped in that case uh, okay total by two so half can partition and it's a pretty simple you can think about that if our remaining sum equal to zero so it means we have found all those element whose sum is equal to our half so definitely the rest of them will be half and because I already shown you in our um, state space tree that if you go from right to left or left to right so the sum will be equal so if you go to the leaf node and uh, you found numbers so remaining will be your half okay and then we will return true here else if we say else if that index goes beyond so, so let's take length here we say ball len equal to nums dot length minus one and that becomes greater than our length so we have to skip or if target is going uh, to be negative so we are going to skip something so we we uh, subtract some big number so definitely uh, remain not remaining target from remaining sum so we have to get back from that path so we had to back to track uh, from this so we have to say this is false path we should not follow this else uh, we can think there are two choices for can partition either we have to add the current index so definitely we are going for the next 
So if we have to add, so we, we will say from the remaining sum, we have to subtract this number. So nums, this number should be excluded. Or that could be remain there. So we can partition and index uh, with the remaining sum will be as it is but we are skipping here we are not going to add this number in our solution so if you will go with this um, hopefully i think it it will be fine there is one case that i will explain in lead code that was uh, used we're limited exceeded because it goes for a lot of recursion uh, okay so we can test it we can say println if we run this code so it says true, we can easily partition into two subset with equal sum. There is a some special case in lead code when it is being provided 98 times that one. So there is actually 98 one and uh, 100 at the end. One. 100 is at the end so this is actually a special case if we run this code now so you will see that it won't stop it will keep on doing that it because the complexity is to raise to power n so how we can fix this problem we can go there and we can say else part else if we get through we will send through here this is the problem actually happening when he's, he find each time same elements in, in one. So here you can see that if this path, uh, if the answer is not satisfying by adding one, so it won't uh, satisfy for the next also. So we have to skip them. So if you find same element, we have to skip them. So we say else part here and we find ball and so we, what we find, we say that we need the next index, skipping all of these similar numbers. So when we find similar number in our set, we can skip and we go, we, uh, the element doesn't match with, with, the, with the current element. So the wall will be um, current num will be nums index and I would say uh, new index will be nums dot uh, next index where index where I would say for the current element x the boolean condition will be that x is not equal to our current num and we should start this from the current element index if, if uh, what happened with the index uh, index where the condition doesn't satisfy so we would say it, and if you never find because there could be the possibility that that number will be the last one like you may get some number like one five 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 so for sure he will never find any different number if we come here so it will return minus one so in case of minus one we just make a new condition here let's make it j so that we can use this now this name for next so this is j we say if ball new index if j equal to minus one so we have to return index index plus one else we have to go with new index with j and this time we are going to send we say that skip all those similar elements and go to the new index now if you will run see what happens here we go so we get the answer that's it thank you